What's up YouTube? Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a very short video to compare and contrast the gestures on the OnePlus 6T running Oxygen OS versus the gestures on the Galaxy S9 Plus running the new Samsung One UI based on Android Pie. Now I already did a full review of Samsung One UI on the Galaxy S9 Plus a few days ago. If you guys want to check that out, I'll definitely drop a link in the description and also the pinned comment so you can watch that video. Today I want to focus on the two different gesture systems and why I think the OnePlus gestures may be a little bit better, perhaps something that Samsung could add to improve the beta in the future. Now let's remind ourselves really quick about the Samsung One UI gestures. These are basically enabled by going to Settings, Display, scroll down to Navigation Bar, and then right there you'll see full screen gestures you can choose to have the back button on the right, which is what I have here, the home in the middle, and the recents on the left, or vice versa. You can also turn gesture hints on or off, which puts these little lines at the bottom that shows you where to swipe. Personally, I like to have those off. It just makes it a little bit cleaner overall. Now, I talked a little bit about some of my issues with the Samsung One UI gestures in the previous video. One of my main problems that I have is that even though I'm a right-handed user, I do occasionally like to use the phone in my left hand. So obviously I'm not going to switch the gesture order because I don't want to use it in my left hand all the time, but occasionally I might have my phone in my left hand while transcribing something at work, something like that. It'd be nice to make the phone equally usable on both sides. So one problem with that right now is that when you have the gesture set to write, home, and then recents, when you have the phone in the right hand, it's easy. You just swipe up from this side to go back in the browser. When you have the phone in your left hand, it's a little bit more difficult because you have to reach all the way over. Sometimes I also hit the home gesture by accident. Uh, it's just a little bit annoying to use with a different hand. Now, of course, if you're left-handed, like I said, you just switch the gestures, no problem. But for occasional left-handed use, that's obviously not ideal. Otherwise, the gestures work mostly fine. They're pretty quick and all those sorts of things. Just a couple of the other issues that I mentioned in the last video. If you compare that to the OnePlus 6T, you'll find that when you go into the gestures, you can actually swipe up from the right or swipe up from the left side to go back, which is obviously very ideal, uh, and I really do like that use. How do you get to your recents? Well, you can swipe up to go home, obviously, but if you want to get into your recents, you just swipe up and then hold, and then that'll take you right into your recent apps, as you can see right here. Now, personally, I have absolutely no problem with the way these gestures work. I find them more intuitive than the ones on the Galaxy S9 Plus, Samsung One UI. I'd like to see Samsung implement something like this, but as many users already mentioned, Samsung already has something like this in a previous app called One Hand Operation Plus, which is right there. It was a part of GoodLock 2018. If you enable this, you'll have a little sidebar on either side, which you can swipe to go back. One problem I have noticed is that if you swipe here, sometimes you're going to hit the edge screen, which I did right there. You have to swipe a little bit lower, um, which is where I put my targets, and then it will go back. And then, of course, on the left side, if you swipe, it's also easy to go back. I don't know why, personally, that Samsung didn't just implement this idea and make this the default navigation. Swiping from the left and the right side actually makes more sense. It seems a lot more intuitive to me than using the gestures at the bottom of the screen. All right, guys, so that's a quick look at the differences between Samsung's One UI gestures and the OnePlus 6T with Oxygen OS. Personally, I'd like to see them change to something like the 6T or just use the gestures from One Hand Operation Plus, which is Samsung's own default app that they had with GoodLock 2018. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Which gesture navigation do you like best? I'll make some more comparison videos videos of other gesture nav out there if you guys are interested. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at social media at the links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.